This video is going to change your life. It is so scary for millions of Americans that wonder if they're gonna have a retirement or how to build for retirement, let alone the taxes it's gonna to take to pay along the way or when we get there. The answer, Roth IRA. In this model I'm gonna show you, it's called the Mega Backdoor Roth. In seven, or six to seven years, you can have over a million dollars tax-free, legit. Now, my name is Mark Kohler. I'm a CPA, attorney, best-selling author, podcast, radio show host, uh, YouTube. I'm here because I love freaking Main Street. I love making money. I love saving money, and I hate paying taxes. People, there is a method to this. You're going to love this. I want you to share this video with your friends, your family, anyone you care about that needs to kickstart their retirement. I don't care if you're 30 years old, 40, 50, 60, this method works. Now we're gonna do an under age 50 model and a 50 and older model. And I'm gonna show you how this year, if, if you do it for approximately seven years, six and if, if you're 50 or older, we can pull it off in six years. If you're under age 50 in seven years, you can have a million dollars tax-free in a Roth IRA. It's called the Mega Backdoor Roth. Okay, so let's dispel some of the myths, the lies, the misinformation, the confusion out there. And if you have any questions, please post them down in the chat. My team's gonna put them there in chat. I wanna make sure I've got that open so that you guys can uh, give me some, uh, type in those questions for, uh, from the different platforms. Welcome on Facebook, YouTube, Entrepreneur Magazine. Glad to be here with you. We're gonna, we're gonna rock this. So please write your questions in there uh, in the chat. Do not look at any posts from me. I am not posting, they're bots. Don't listen to anybody in the chat that's trying to pitch you on a deal or whatever. Focus here, put your comments down in chat. Here we go. Now, the first myth out there is that I can't have a Roth IRA because I make too much money. Wrong, bull crap. If your account has told you that, you have the wrong account. I, it's malpractice. It's literally crazy that an accountant would say, you make too much money, you can't put money into a Roth. In fact, we better mention what the back door is here first. So I'm going to go there before we even get to our bubbles or our, our, our cylinder here of wealth. Okay. So if you want to, here's the party. The party is the Roth party. The reason why we love the Roth, and some of you that are just getting started investing, maybe, and what's the big deal about a Roth IRA? Well, you take your after-tax money, money you've already paid tax on, and you pop it into the Roth. It's an investment account that you control. You can invest in real estate, notes, crypto, gold, silver, small business, your brother's landscaping business, your sister's cupcake store. You can invest your Roth however the hell you want. You are not captive under Wall Street. You can invest funds you're sure but you want to get 10 15 20 percent rates of return you're going to invest in what's called all assets well this roth ira this party is awesome because as you invest with your money in your roth you pay no tax and then when the money comes out you pay no tax now the congress in america was freaking out last summer when they found out that peter Thiel, owner of paypal and facebook investor in paypal and facebook <laughs> uh has over six billion dollars in his roth ira well, he started out with a Roth the same size as yours was mine. He just invested in startups and venture capital 20 years ago with his Roth IRA. And now it's worth billions tax-free. We have clients over and over again in our office with six, seven, and eight-digit Roth IRAs because they started investing 5, 10, or 15 years ago. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I want to show you how to do. So we're going to have this Roth IRA account. Now, directed IRA, I'll send you to this trust company if you want to open up a Roth IRA. You can do it for tonight for less than three, 400 bucks to open an account and start putting money into it. I just wanted to let you know how easy it is. You can start a Roth IRA on your freaking phone tonight and start investing it in the weeks to come. But we want to be in this party because we want tax-free growth and tax-free withdrawals. Well, Congress right now says if you make more than, what's our limit right now? This is the, the rule on the face of it, that if you want to go in the front door, and you want to put money into a Roth, if you make more than 153 grand in your single or 228 grand, you can't go in the front door. I can't, I, I want to get in here. I want to go to the party, but I can't get into the party if I make more than 183 or 250. That's, it's just, that's the front door rule. But people, there is <laughs> a back door. There's a back door way into the party. So what you do to get in the back door is if you make too much money, Step one, you make a non 
deductible contribution to a regular IRA. It's kind of like putting money in your 401k at work, which is going to be part of this equation in the mega backdoor strategy. So I'm going to make a non-deductible contribution. Now, who in the world would make a non-deductible contribution to an IRA because it grows tax deferred, but I got to pay tax on the way out? That would make no sense. No one would do that. But once you make this non-deductible contribution on day two, you convert to Roth. You can convert to Roth. And anybody at any income level can convert to Roth. So if I put five grand in a tr traditional, get no write-off, but on day two, I convert to Roth, I don't have to pay tax when I convert to Roth because I didn't get a tax deduction when I put the money in. It's just a two-step process. We literally have forms that, uh, that you check the box. I want to do the backdoor Roth. It is that common. It is that legit. It's been around forever. And any accountant that tells you you can't have a Roth and they don't know about the back door, you got to reevaluate who you're working with. Now, if you're an accountant, enrolled agent, CPA, and you're like, oh, I didn't know about this. This is kind of cool. Google it. I'm not out in right field. And if you don't know this strategy, you've got to check out my certification program. I'm certifying CPAs and enrolled agents with 70 plus strategies, 12 modules, weekly trainings, helping client accountants around the country convert their practice to advisory. So just as a side, if you're an accounting professional, get to markjkohler.com and check it out. Hundreds of CPAs and enrolled agents are getting better clients through my network. I take no money out of that network. It's, they're your clients and I'm sending them your way. I need better accountants and enrolled agents. America, America needs better enrolled agents and accountants. And, and this is in CPAs and this is, this is one of the 70 strategies. All right. So everybody, rule number one, you can all have a freaking Roth IRA. I can have a million dollars in an old 401k and convert it to Roth tomorrow. I could be making a million dollars a year and I can still do a backdoor Roth. So do not worry about income level. Second myth. Well, I'm too young or too old. Nope. You can have a Roth IRA at any freaking age. I, my kids were working for me in my small business at age five. They were picking up nails around the, land, the, the rental properties. They were shredding paper in the home office and I could pay them $1,000, $3,000, dollars a year. As they got older, they got paid more. Kids as old as one year old can have a Roth IRA. All they need is earned income. People that are 90 years old can open up a Roth IRA, which I endorse and love. Because guess what? When your family inherits that Roth, they can immediately take distributions and do not have to wait till they're 59 and a half. So they get 10 years to drain that Roth. I've helped my mom put money into her Roth so I can be the beneficiary of it. She's like, well, I don't need a Roth. That's okay. I'll put the money in for you. You invest it. And then we all are going to die. We talk about that in our family. It's not the end of the world. When my mom dies, I'm going to inherit that Roth tax-free. And I can take 10 years to drain it. And I don't have to be 59 to do it. So whether you're 90 or one years old, no matter what your income level is, you can have a freaking Roth. Baseline. Okay. Now we want to get as much money into the Roth as we can. So we're going to talk about the mega backdoor because it, we're going to go through this to get it in there. We're going to get creative. And this is so legit and common. It's not high risk at all. You just got to have the right team to work with that gets it. Okay. So if I'm under age 50, here's the first piece of this. You got to do your basic Roth. I want you to do your Roth contribution. And this year in 2023, you can do 6,500. So that's the first part of the bucket. You're going to put in 6,500 and you're going to do that through a basic Roth IRA. You can open one up tonight and put $6,500 in it. All you have to have is earned income. Done. Go. Boom. Bang. Now I've got other strategies on, well, Mark, all I have is rental income. How do I do this? I call that the side door 401k where we're going to create a management fee out of your rental properties, but that's a whole other strategy. So you can learn about that in my trainings or on my blog or on my podcast. Street Business Podcast. So first bucket level is the 6,500. Now, the way to get to the mega backdoor Roth is you've got to have that small business. Now, this could be a side hustle. It could be a rental property business where you're going to push money around the, uh, out the side. But let me show you what this looks like. Now, this is the trifecta that I've taught multiple, multiple times. Many of you get this. So here's your trifecta. This is your 1040. This is your revocable living trust. 
And if you have a side business, it could be an LLC or an S Corp, you're going to set up a solo 401k. Now, for those of you that have a day job, you can still do the mega backdoor Roth. I'm going to come to that option here in a moment. So for those of you that do not have a small business, um, there is a way to get there. For those of you that have a small business with no employees, it gets better. So we're, it's just a little faster. So we can do this solo 401k, and we're going to make contributions over here. You're also doing your Roth individually. So you're down here. This is you. Okay. You're going to be contributing to your Roth personally, but contributing to the to the solo 401k through your business. Now, this is known as the trifecta. I teach on this constantly. So we want to put our assets over here and our ops over here. If you need to meet with one of my tax lawyers, it's simple. It's affordable. There's no mastermind five or 10 or $20,000 fee to work with a tax lawyer in my office. We can build a trifecta and look at your tax plan for under two grand and get you set up with a plan that saves you 10 times whatever the hell you pay us. So this is the structure we're going for. We want to build this bucket. That's the backdoor Roth. We want to build it through the Roth and the 401k. Now, for those of you that have a day job, you're going to, and so here's your W-2 and you have a day job. Now, by the way, you can have both. You can have a day job and a small business 401k. You have two 401ks. It's not a problem. So what you would do is do your contribution in the 401k here. And then a non, well, the term that we want to use is an after-tax employee contribution. I'll come to that in a moment, people. But we're going to be able to contribute to our 401k at work after the company match. So we're going to, we're going to talk about that. But we got our solo and our 401k. Now, I know this is a lot to digest in a live YouTube, Facebook presentation. This is why you may want to consult with one of the tax lawyers. We can build this for you. And if you're trying to make a million dollars, you can afford a, you know, a few hours with an attorney to build a plan for you because we want a relationship for many years to come. We're not there to take advantage. Okay, so this is where we're headed. So the first step is we want to get the 6,500 in there. Now, the next piece is your 401k contribution. Now, this year, now, the, those of you that are 50 and older, I'm going to do the same thing for you in just a moment. So under age 50, we're going to take 22,500. Now, the maximum you can do in a 401k situation is 66. So that's the 401k this year is 66,000. So we want to get that entire 66 grand. So this remaining part is the 43,500. That gets us our 66 which plus our 6,500 and people, we are at 72,500. That's how much you can put into a Roth this year. Yeah, yes. Middle income America, whatever. You just have to be able to generate $72,000 through your day job, your small business, your big business, whatever you got going on. Let's sell piece of crap equipment we don't need around the house. Maybe I don't need that boat or that RV. I need a retirement. I'm going to build it. I'm going to go for it. Now, the, the beauty of this is you're stacking. You're stacking your regular Roth, this employee contribution. And then if you're a small business owner, this is going to be the company contribution. So in a solo, you're using company contribution with the employee contribution. EE stands for employee. So company contribution, employee contribution. If you work for another company, let's you, you work, it's not your small business. You have a 401k at work. You're going to do your employee contribution, but then up here, you're going to have the company match. So whatever the company matches could be three grand, five grand, 10 grand. I don't know, whatever your company matches, whatever's left. That is called the after-tax employee contribution. Now, this is very common. Your employer is not going to tell you about it. You have to ask for it. And let me just tell you a quick story of how we learned about this ourselves at our law firm. I didn't even know about this six years ago. We had some clients that were oil and gas workers up in South Dakota making money living in trailers. The trailers were paid for. Their food was paid for. They're working on these oil and gas rigs. They're making 150 grand a year. And these guys are like, what do I do with my money? I got to save it. 
And I don't know where they found out. And they came to us and said, we can do this. We figured this out. They did their 22,500. The company did a match and they went to their employer said, can I do an after-tax contribution? And they're like, yeah, you don't get a write-off for it because you've already got your 22.5. We already did your match, but you could put it in there, an after-tax contribution. You don't get a write-off. And they said, that's okay. I'm going to convert it to Roth on day two. So that's the second step. You're going to do your employee contribution as a Roth contribution, get the match and any deferral from the company if you're a solo or the company after-tax employee contribution. And then on day two, you convert to Roth. Now you've got your entire bucket, 72,500 all Roth. Now here's the amazing part. I did some math before we got on here. If you can do this right now and six more times, so if you could do it this year and six more times, if you can get a 15% return, you're gonna have $1 million in seven years. A million dollars, tax-free. Now, a 15% return, I get hate mail for this, people. I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to go, Mark, you can't get 15% return. The best you can get in an ETF or a mutual fund, you know, S&P 500 index fund, 5%, 7 8%. This is heresy. You're crazy. You can't get 15%. Hear me out. 80% of family offices, those are people that have $10 million or more, 80% of their portfolio is not in Wall Street. Rich people do not invest in Wall Street. They invest in what's called alt assets. They invest in real estate syndications. They invest in small business. They invest in real estate. They invest in notes. Wall Street will not tell you this. It doesn't mean Wall Street's bad. It doesn't mean that I don't have a TD Ameritrade money market account. I've got money in Wall Street, but I leave it there till I find something better. And 15%, 20%, we have clients doing 20 to 25% in small business with their retirement accounts. That's what you get to do at directedira.com. You can set up your own retirement account, 401k, SAP, simple, you know, Roth and self-direct. And then you're getting these rates of returns. So I don't want any hate mail. If you don't think you can do 15%, go to my podcast, the Directed IRA podcast, number one podcast on self-directing. All right. This is your under age 50 model. Now it's going to be really similar here that I'll answer questions out there, but let's just do it for those that are 50 and over. Uh, Lots of fun. That's me. I'm over 50 now. (laughs) So fun. Okay. So in this example, we'll go back to our blue. You're going to do this year in 2023, you can 7,500. What? Now I can make up, I can do the 66,000. But because I'm over age 50, I get an extra 7,500. So I get to do 73,500. So I want to 73,500. I get to do that, but I have to do it in two pieces again. So I'm going to do my employee contribution. So the employee contribution this year, because I'm older, is 30,000. And then I get the same 43,500 here. So my 43,500, I'm going to convert to Roth on day two. If you have a day job, you can walk into Microsoft and go, I want to do my after-tax employee contribution. They'll go, okay, you're crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy. I want to put in 43,500 of my 401k. Okay. And then you call up on day two and convert to Roth. You just got 43,500 in Roth money and there's no tax to do it because you already paid the tax on your paycheck. You just said, put an extra 43,5 in. Then you've got your 30, which you're going to do Roth, and then your 7,500 in your individual Roth. So this is your Roth, and this is all 401k. Now, combined, the beauty of this, this blows people's mind, $81,000. You can throw $81,000 into a Roth IRA. Now, done the math. If you can put 81,000 in this year, And just do it five more times. Five more times. Commit to this for six freaking years. You sell anything, run your small business, get efficient, start, get another job, whatever it takes. If I can do this six more times, 
I will, no, I said five more times. So you put your deposit in and five more times in six and a half years, you will have a million dollars tax-free. If you get a 20% ROI, it'll be less than six years. So I'm going to be getting this to a million dollars as fast tax-free in my Roth. That's what we're shooting for people. This is doable. I mean, see clients do it all the time. Now I know some of you are like, Mark, I'm just trying to do my little Roth down here. That's great. Do it. You know what's fun is we we teach this principle to a 15 year old. You got kids that are 15 years old. They put six grand in a Roth, and you teach them to just put six grand in a Roth. Don't worry about rental properties. Don't re worry about your day job someday as a 401k. Just get in that happen. Six thousand dollars a year. Invest it. Your child at age 55 will have five million dollars tax free, just by putting six thousand dollars away a year for the next 40 years. They'll have over $5 million. Sorry, I should say that's 65. 15 years old. No, no, that's right. 15 years old plus 40 years is age 55. You'll have over $5 million in Roth money tax-free. And that's just putting away 6,000 a year. The sooner you can start on this, the better. This mega backdoor Roth, holy crap. If you could keep the, the deposits going, for more than six or seven years, and you start putting three to four more years, you're going to have two to $3 million in 15 years. That's how fast it multiplies. So this is powerful. It's real. It's legit. And I'm, I'm just excited about sharing this. And the mega backdoor broth really, really works. Now, I don't see any questions here unless my team's planning on hitting me with them. I but, got a couple uh, questions here. Okay. Can they hear you? Yes, sir. All right, so uh, we'll go ahead and start out. Found Treasures okay. asks, you have to convert all traditional IRAs over first, correct? Yes. Now, in this example, let's say you have over here a regular Roth IRA. I mean, a regular IRA. Now, this is important, Found Treasures. In order to do the backdoor Roth, just this piece, I have to convert any old IRA I have to Roth first. And I got to pay tax on it when I convert it. So I call that chunking, chunking at it year after year. If you go to YouTube after this broadcast, type Kohler chunking IRA. Then I, I show how you can chunk at that IRA and get it to a Roth position as fast as you can. But guess what? You can still do this. You don't have to convert that this IRA to do the this piece. So you can still do $73,500 this year and not convert this and do this piece. So it's, you can, holy hell. So start converting this IRA to Roth in pieces and chunks and do this part. You're still there. You're still rocking. Just convert 73. I'm sorry, convert 7,500 a year and do this. You're right back where you started. If you can afford to convert 10 grand or 20 grand, do it. Now we're really rocking. Now we got really a lot of traction. So you can still do the 401k piece, but to do the bottom piece, you've got to convert your traditional IRA to Roth first. All right, next question. Awesome. All right, Julie asks, does your S Corp have to be paying you a W-2 to contribute to your solo K? Um, yes. Now you may want to drop off Tristan as after you ask a question, because if I go here, they're only seeing half of me. So it might be harder for them to see the screen. Also, if you want to type any of these questions in chat or cut and paste, that can be a quick as well. All right. So the question was, if I want to contribute to a 401k in my small business, do I have to have a W-2? If you have an S corporation, you have to have a W-2 in order to fund the 401k. If you just have an LLC with no W-2, then... That's fine, but you're going to be paying self-employment tax out the butt. So we don't like just a regular LLC that's generating this type of money. There's another strategy. You can find it on YouTube of mine, and I, we teach it to all of our certified advisors. It's called the Sweet Spot 401k. A lot of people are like, Mark, I, I don't want to do the full mega backdoor Roth, but I want to put away as much as I can. How can I do that and not pay too much self-employment tax along the way? The question being asked right now is, do I have to do a W-2 if I have an S-Corp? Well, if you have an S-Corp, you have to do a W-2 anyway. The question is how much W-2 do you take and get the most bang for your buck? 
So we literally have a sweet spot 401k because if you're not going for the mega, we'll only take a certain amount of 401 uh, W2 and get the maximum 401k. We have tables that my tax lawyers and our certified tax advisors can walk you through to find that. And you're not paying thousands and thousands of dollars to get that advice. Make an appointment at kqslawyers.com. It's down in the description. And when we're done with our consult and give you a plan, we'll hand you off to the Tax Pro Network. We've got over hundreds of certified tax advisors around the country that speak Mark Kohler that have been certified and have to be training with me every week. And I learn from them too, in order to be a referral. So we're going to make sure you get the right account. Next question, Tristan. All right. We got one from Aaron. He wants to know, did Build Back Better make any changes to Backdoor Roth? Well, yes and no. Um, the Build Back Better plan last year, Joe Biden, it did not hurt the Roths. They were trying to get the mega Roths shut down. You have to, uh, you can't put as much into a Roth. None of that legislation was passed. So Roths did not, not get hurt at all in last year's legislation. If anything, the Roths got better. Because in this scenario, a company can now do, you, you can do your employee contribution in Roth. The company match can now be in Roth. So it saves an extra step. Um, and, that's, and it's pretty common. Um, and so Build Back Better made this easier. So you don't have to do the second step of a conversion. The after-tax employee contribution you cannot do in a Roth because it has to be converted. So it's just a two-step process. You still get to Roth and there's no tax. You just do your after-tax employee contribution. Or if you're in a small business, you do the company contribution and then you convert to Roth the next day. And there's no tax to you personally. Uh, next question. All right. We can end it on this one. There's not a ton of relevant questions, but we'll go ahead and get this one. Seems to be a generic question, but it's getting asked a lot. How can you roll over money from a current employer? Or oh, I see that from account? Colleen. Yeah, yep. yeah. And we got one from Found Treasures too. So. so the next question is, how can I roll over money from a current employer 401k? All right. If you are currently employed with a 401k, your ability to self-direct that is going to be very limited. You might have vested and the employer might allow you to take your contributions over the last how many years and roll them out to an IRA. So you call your employer's HR department and go, can I roll out my vested contributions to an IRA? They might let you. It's going to depend on the 401k agreement. But here's an important point. I, Colleen, all of you out there that have a day job 401k, you're probably frustrated because you're like, Mark, I'm not going to get this 15% return because all this money in the 401k is stuck in my 401k at work. So I'm only getting 7 or 8% if I'm lucky after all their fees. So let me teach you guys. Colleen, you're going to love this. Uh, treasures, found treasures. I call it the match and out strategy. You're still doing the mega backdoor Roth but you're trying to do it in a way where you control the investing as much as possible on day two. So it's a, you're going to use a combination of two 401ks to do this. So now Colleen, if you're like, well, I don't have a small business on the side, get one. The number one way to wealth is buying rental properties or a small business on the side. And we can fund your 401k through either side. Talk to one of my tax lawyers. So what we want to do Ooh, this will look cool. So here's your mega backdoor Roth, all right? Well, it's going to be a combination of two different 401ks. You're going to have the day 401k, and you're going to have the small business 401k. But it's all part of the same equation. So your W-2 is up here. And what you want to do is play in it only up to the match and then get out. So let's do an example. Let's say the company does a $4,000 match. They do 4% of your salary. Let's say your salary is hundred grand, And they say, we'll put up to $4,000 in your 401k if you put in $4,000. So it's a match dollar for dollar up to the first $4,000. So what do you do? 
you want to take advantage of that because you're doubling your money. So you put in $4,000. So there's four. And then the company's going to match the other four. Okay, let's put that in blue. So there's the company. Now, of course, we're at $8,000. Now, how much can you do this year? <laughs> now, we're going to assume in this example, you're under age 50, Colleen. So you're under age 50. How much can you put away? 72,500. So we want to get up to 72,500. Well, if you say, well, Mark, I want to invest that money the way I want to, and I've got a small business over here, I'm going to do the remaining 66,500 here. Now, some of you are going to like, well, I don't have enough small business income, so I'm going to do 30,000 up here and 60 and the, the other 36 down here. So you have to, then when you meet with the tax advisor, we're going to help game it and find your perfect balance. So if you say 72,500 is my max, I've already got my four in and my match. That's, I call it matching out. And it's not that you get out entirely of the 401k. What you're doing is matching and getting and stepping back. And that's probably how I should call it, matching back. Step back and go, what am I going to do next? So what I want to do next is the next piece of this is your personal Roth. So you're going to do your personal Roth. Get the match. That's step one. And then step two, you're going to do your individual Roth. Now, if you're under age 50, that's 6,500. All right. So if we're doing our math here, you've got your 72,500. You already did your 6,500 and another eight. So I'm gonna just do the math here. Let's just have fun with this. So I've got my 72,500 minus my 6,500 minus my 8,000. So I'm at 58,000. So I got 58,000 more to put away. Now you have 22,500 minus the four. You already used up four of that. So I've got 18,500 I can put in. I would put it in here. So this would be the rest of your 18th. Because see, remember, everybody, this year you can put in a maximum of 72.5 in a mega backdoor Roth. A maximum of 66 can be 401k. Well, of that 66, 22,500 is your contribution. Everything else is company match or an after-tax contribution. I know this can be complicated. I want you to watch this video and over and over again, you'll get it. So if I have 22,500, look at where it's coming from. Four here and 18, five here. There's my personal contribution. So I've got my 65, my 22, five. Now all that's left is the 43, five. So I could, now the company already put in four in this example. So that's 39, five. So I would put it all in here. Because see, if I have a small business in my S Corp, I'm going to do the 18.5 and the company match of 39.5 there. This is going to come from my day job. But see, I'm getting there between my personal Roth. So number one is the company match. Number two is my personal Roth. Number three is I'm doing everything else here. And the reason why I want the rest of this money here is because you can self-direct that and invest it in what you know best. Go start a small business with it. Go fund a small business. You can't start your own. You can't work in it. But you can fund a small business. You can buy rental real estate. You could buy... You know what's crazy? I just had a phone call today. 39.5 and 18.5. What is that? Let's do that. 39,500 plus 18,500. I'm at 58,000. I've got Real Wealth. I'll give a shout out to Rich Betke over at Real Wealth. They're a brokerage that are helping investors around the country in probably 20 different markets find rental property. Get to Real Wealth, and talk to uh, look and talk to Rich himself or one of his three advisors, Aristotle. Talk to those guys and say, hey, I got $58,000. Can you find me a rental property? Holy crap. They've got rental properties in probably six to seven different markets that at that price point, that's your down payment and you get a non-recourse loan from a bank and you're buying rental properties in your retirement account. And you're getting a lot better than an 8% return, people. Their cash on cash returns are 8%, not to mention appreciation and mortgage pay down. So that's just one example, again, of using this money more wisely 
than being stuck in a Wall Street product you're not excited about. So the overall backdoor Roth is a combination of two 401ks in that situation, Colleen. So you're like, well, I want to roll this money over here. You can't tell you quit your job. You got to retire or quit or get fired. Then you can move this 401k over here. But until then, you got to use a combination of the two to get there. Well, woo, exciting stuff. People, the dream is real. You can make money. Capitalism is not bad. Having a side gig, having a small business is your true path to wealth. Get out there and look for a rental property every year. You can do this. We're all in this together. And I applaud you for watching this podcast and learning. It got a little technical, but I'm going to throw down. I'm not going to hide the ball. Now, you got to get a personal consult to tailor this to your plan, your situation. It can be affordable and simple as $1,500 under two grand to get a tax lawyer tailoring a plan to you. And then we hand you a tax advisor and the network that you get to select from around the country, young or old, male or female, small firm, big firm, CPA or enrolled agent, tailor that CPA to you. And you're off to the races building a plan that makes a difference. Please get engaged, get involved, get to my podcast at Main Street Business Podcast, the Directed IRA Podcast markjkohler.com for all of you tax advisors. I am in this. If I don't get hit by a bus, I'm going to be here every year for the next 10 years. That's probably my game plan. Then I'm going to fall over and die. Uh, <laughs> I'm here with you. Please give us five stars, share it, like it, and subscribe on the YouTube channel. And every time I go live, you'll get a ping. Thanks, everyone. Keep living the dream.